بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو سائنس ٹیلی کلاس آف گریڈ سکس ہاؤ آئی یو آل آئی ہوپ یو آل آر فائن اینڈ بین سیف اینڈ ٹیک ان آل دا پریونٹیو میشرز ایٹ ہوم عید مبارک ٹو یو آل ویل آئی ایم فاطمہ شفرا فرام دا ال اے سی وتھ می دیر زدنا یوسف فرام ہوراوی اسکول Together, both of us are going to present you today's lesson on movement of plates. First, let me share the learning intention with you. We are learning to identify events such as earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and how landforms are created by these events, especially at different plate boundaries. Before moving on, I want to share the success criteria also with you. We will be successful if we can identify volcanic eruptions and earthquakes and landforms created at these events, especially at different plate boundaries. Now, before moving on, I want to read you a riddle. I am the result of a sudden release of energy in the Earth's crust. I can move things even though I can't be seen, but I am not the wind. I shake, but you can't drink me. I am measured on a special scale, but I don't weigh anything. I can knock down buildings, but I am not Godzilla. I am the result of moving plates, but I am not an empty table. What can I be? What do you think? Well, you can think throughout the lesson and then I'll get back to the answer of the riddle. Hope you'll get the answer. Now, during the previous lesson of science, you have learned about the major plates of the earth. I hope you all are aware of the major plates. Actually, in this map, you can see the seven major plates of the earth each plate in a different color. You can identify the seven plates and recall the previous lesson from here. And moving on to today's lesson, uh, we are going to learn about plate tectonics actually. What do you think plate tectonic is? Can you guess? Well, let's see what plate tectonic actually is. The plates of the earth can collide, pull apart or scrape against each other for plate tectonics. That is, from this picture you can see uh, two plates of the earth pull apart, they collide with each other, getting on top of one, one and they scrape against each other. These movements happen inside the earth and these movements and the activities inside the earth is called plate tectonics. From this picture, you can, from this video, you can see two plates moving apart. And energy is being released from the middle, you can see. From the inner core, the energy is raised to the top crust of the earth. And from this, this video, you can see two plates colliding each other. But this collision is not a vigorous collision. And from this picture, this video, you can see two plates colliding and moving apart. I hope you got an idea about moving, pulling apart, colliding and scraping against each other of the plates of the earth. Now moving on to the next part of the lesson. How do you know? How do you think earthquake happens? Alhamdulillah, we Maldivians don't face, experience vigorous earthquakes in our country. But nowadays, my, some minor earthquakes are happening in some parts of our country. But we just 
experience the shake only, not the disastrous part of the earthquake. Around the globe, there are many disasters occurring, many people are dying. We should be thankful to Allah for this. Alhamdulillah, we don't face this thing. Earthquakes are the result of the movement of plates inside the earth. Each of the plates collide vigorously with the other and then earthquake happens. The different plates push towards each other or collide vigorously. Such vigorous collisions often lead to earthquake. From the picture here you can see um, Energy is being released from the core, inner core of the earth and the energy is released to the crust of the earth and two plates move against each other and a slip is formed. This slip at the top is called the fault slip. The surface where the slip, plate slip happens is the fault slip. Every time there is an earthquake, uh, we don't notice the earthquake because it is just a minor one, not a vigorous one, most of the time. Sometimes it, sh it shakes so strong that it can be felt over miles. We can't imagine and sometimes these shakings uh, create many damages like um, tsunami, roads, buildings and countries getting uh, damaged and many, many death is caused due to earthquake. Even uh, during 2004 December also we faced tsunami due to earthquake. And in this video you can see uh, earthquake occurring and the buildings being damaged. In this tsunami video you can see two plates uh, collide with each other and one plate is moving on top of the other one releasing uh, energy into the um, crust and a, a huge wave is created and tsunami is happening there. Now moving on to the next part of the lesson, landforms. Do you know any name of a landform? Well, great, that's correct. Hills, islands, mountains, and there are many more. All these are examples of landforms. From the picture here, you can see an island. That's also a landform, a lake. Behind the lake, you can see a mountain or hill. Those things are also landforms. And the next picture is of a mountain. That's also a landform. And there are other landforms also. Pushing or colliding of different plates are also give rise to various landforms. Uh, from this picture you can see uh, two plates are colliding. Uh, you can imagine uh, the right side part of the plate as South African and plate and the left part as the Indian plate. These two plates are colliding with each other giving compression into the rock, rock that is sediment on the seabed. The sediment on the seabed is compressed such that these two plates when collide, fold mountains are raised. That gives rise to fold mountains. Some examples of these are when two plates collide, they form hills or mountains such as Himalaya. Then actually we don't get to see this procedure often because this, it takes a long time, like millions of years. It's not a fast procedure. We don't get to see this happen every day. This procedure is very slow. Now it's time to answer the riddle. I hope most of you have got the answer correct now. And the answer is yes. Earthquake. Very good. Thank you.